We have Jack Kapitza on the line from the Globe and Mail and globetechnology.com to talk about cell phone and data plans. What's happening with them and how are companies lining up their data plans to make selling cell phones an easier thing to do? How are you doing, Jack? Hey, just stupendous. Yourself, AJ. Very good. So what, uh, so what are the folks doing about data plans and cell phones? Well, you know, just the other day, one of the reporters here and I were, uh, were actually sitting down and sorting out how much money the data plans were costing us. And it took us both ages to sit down and just try and compare any two data plans. And of course, they're not completely, you know, just so much data. Yeah. Uh, but it was impossible to understand. And I, I just can't begin to tell you how complicated it is. And I have a feeling that this is exactly the way the cell phone companies want it, because that way they can soak you like crazy for the data that you're getting. And by data, I mean anything except the voice. Well, I mean, we've definitely like, heard a lot about that with respect to the um, iPhone down in the U.S. and some of the data plans that people are getting. But it's the same thing here in Canada. I mean, it's hard to know what exactly you're paying until you get your bill. Exactly. And, and I mean, this is astonishing. If you want any further proof of this, uh, Rogers just recently announced it had a 75% increase in profits of this quarter. Uh, now, I mean, can you yeah. imagine any company getting 75% in profits and cranking about it? I no, of course not. Like that I mean, is Rogers bank. is making it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the other big thing is that, that uh, what's happening is that a lot of cell phone companies, uh, led by Nokia, which is, by the way, the biggest manufacturer of handsets in the world, are snapping up um, uh, various different content providers. Uh, Twango is the one that Nokia just bought recently, uh, which is a social networking site. And uh, uh, RIM has uh, gotten Facebook for the BlackBerry, which is a bit of a, a coup. But, I mean, if these things do take off, and of course Facebook, well, <laughs> a friend of mine calls it Crackbook because it's so addictive. Uh, if Facebook really takes off, can you imagine the amount of data that would be going through from an individual uh, through the cell phone? It's well, not going to go through, it doesn't go through um, uh, RIM's service, it goes through Rogers' service. And Rogers is the one that has the, uh, uh, the, the meter stuck on it. Absolutely, and so that's interesting because what they're doing is cr essentially creating applications that people are going to absolutely need to have on their cell phones, and as a result of that, these data plans could become outrageous. But you've got to figure the companies are actually going to uh, come up with plans that are realistic and actually cost-effective. Yeah, I think they're going to have to. It's, it's, it's that classic old thing where you have uh, a product and you've got almost a captive market and uh, so you, you charge high prices for it, but at some point you're going to realize that you can't make the market grow anymore or attract any more subscribers unless you cut back on your rates. And Rogers is really up against the wall in that one. You know, I mean, if they really want to get the, uh, the iPhone in Canada, they're going to have to start rearranging the rates dramatically. And the thing is that they're going to have to, that means, you know, getting into this Gordian knot that they call uh, their, their data rate plans and start trying to untie that sucker. And boy, if, if, if it takes two reporters and we can't even untie it, once between us, then can you imagine what users will have to go through? I'm definitely scared about it. Well, thank you very much. If people want to find out more about this story, uh, they can go to the website. I've written a blog item on it. Perfect. Thank you, Jack and Pizza from GlobeTechnology.com. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, AJ. Bye for now.